<laughs> Alright guys, so my experiment of putting my potatoes in the ground way too early almost backfired on me because they all started to die because we got snow in April. I put them in the ground, I think, I'll have to go back and look, but I think it was like the middle of March or the end of March. Like, and they were all growing, this whole thing, this whole compost right here was just full of potatoes. They were just popping up all over the place and then we got that snow and every single one of them died. Well, they are coming back, baby. Check them out, they are growing. These are all potatoes from last year that I saved that I'm regrowing. I was surprised at how well they did. Except for these ones right here. They're potatoes I bought. Oh my this guy here popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, they're coming up and they're coming up good. Like I was worried. I really was. I was worried. I was like, well, they're probably all gonna be dead and be compost, but they're coming up again even after the big frost. Like we had like two or three big frosts. And all, even these guys right here were dead. And they've all made a huge comeback. They, they, they're, they're doing great. I have some in here that are just going crazy. Crazy, y'all. I need to get some dirt so that I can mound them up. By the time I get back from Texas, I'm probably going to need to mound these guys up some. A lot of weeding to do. I didn't have as many weeds in here last year. I don't know why there's so many weeds this year. But all my little purple guys are popping up. I just planted these a couple weeks ago. Like this is a new row for me. Last year I didn't have potatoes in here. Like they're coming up. Like all this right here is full of potatoes. So I just planted it this year. All these guys in here. And then I just freshly did these ones. This top row up here is all goldens. I planted them really tight because I didn't have the room. I was hoping I'd have some more dirt by now, but I just don't. There's a whole row of goldens up there, and then there's a row of red ones here. And I still have some more purple ones to plant. Like right here, this whole thing is purple. They called them blues, but they were purple, so whatever. I don't, it doesn't matter, blue or purples, it doesn't matter what you want to call them. I might have enough room to put one more row right here. I may end up putting them there. Either there, or I'm going to bring some dirt in and plant them over here. It's, cause it gets really rocky over by my onions. I may put them over there. I don't know yet. See what happens. I may even put them down by the yard somewhere. Or over by my pickup. But yeah, it's potato season. We got potatoes coming up. It's pretty freaking awesome. I love growing potatoes. Probably one of my favorite things in the world to grow. I mean, if I could grow a pot and get away with it, I probably would do that. Because that's probably fun, right? <laughs> I'm just being stupid. Yeah, look at these guys. These were all, I'm telling you, these were all dead. They were They were dying. They got hit hard with frost, and they were dead, and they're popping up like crazy again, so that's awesome. I definitely got to get some more dirt, though. This was all grass. Like, this was grass that from mowing our yard. I just piled it up, and I watered it and flipped it around once or twice a week, and eventually it turned into nice, beautiful dirt to grow shit in. So, yeah. Let me know how you guys the potato gardens are going this year. If you got a potato garden going or how whatever else you're growing. Kinda curious how everybody else is making out, but yeah, I still have here to show you what I got left. I, I had them inside the ranger. It's kind of my storage shed. And uh I got them outside and I put them in here. I still have all of these to plant yet. Like I got 25 pounds of them and they're just little guys. Like, they're just the wee little potatoes. The little purples. And 25 pounds of them's a lot. It's crazy how many potatoes are in that little bag. And I needed a lot of room for them. But Valerie's tree broke off. Anybody that pays attention to when I made a couple tree videos, i going to show you that quick. Our yard is still so wet. She had a weeping white birch tree we spent way too much money on it and we've mowed the grass and it got ringed like she hit the bottom of it really hard with the lawnmower and like down here down here and it rotted it off and broke it the wind was blowing it's actually right there the wind was blowing it was right here if anybody remembers 
work off right at the base where she hit it with the lawnmower. So whenever you're mowing your grass, don't hit your trees. <laughs> and then I had a, a weeping, a weeping willow tree down here growing. It was right here. And I freaking buck rubbed the hell out of it. And so now it's no good. It's completely dead. Which that's alright. I didn't pay anything for it. So I was just cool to see it growing. My tree is doing great. This is a river birch. And it is doing fantastic. I got a new growth on here popping out. I mean, hope we don't get any bugs or nothing. But look at a new growth coming out of here. It's awesome. This is such a cool tree. Oh, I almost stepped in that dog shit right there. Bastards. And up here is our white birch tree that we planted. It only got one flower this year. It's kind of sucked. But ever since we moved it, it doesn't really flower very much. It's our one dogwood tree flower. I might buy Valerie a dogwood tree that will actually bloom and go crazy. Like, we love this tree. But, once again, it's another one that she hit with a lawnmower. She didn't know you couldn't hit the bottoms of them like that. That's okay. It's still growing pretty good. Hopefully it'll stay nice and healthy. Yeah. I mean, how you guys are doing? Everybody's garden. You know, I head to Texas. Oh, check these onions out. I put these onions here one day because the birds were digging them out and they're still kicking it like they're still green they're like falling out of the ground but they're still alive still alive cover up a little bit of dirt so this will go keep going i guess it sucks because the rain washes it off It was a terrible idea, but I tried it anyhow. And they took back off again. And I have onions here in this little onion box, which was a carrot box at one time, I think. Maybe not, I don't remember what it was. But these guys are still alive, somehow or another. I don't really think there's much to them, but they're still alive. <laughs> uh, it's been a weird year because I've been sick. And when I'm not sick, I'm out doing this other shit. And when I'm able to, I'm working. And, ew, look at the freaking ants in there, bastards. Of all places, why the hell would they be in here? Get the hell out of here. Bastards. <sighs> I hate ants. <sighs> Alright guys, getting ready to head to Texas. Have a good week. Maybe we'll try and make a over the road video this week. They seem to do pretty good. So maybe we'll make one. See what happens. Like and subscribe, all that fun, happy jazz.